Well, it's another time, another place, and another episode six for me. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Game Guy Color. Welcome back to Let's Play Angels of Death. In the last episode, stuff happened. In this episode, more stuff's gonna happen. Well, that's just kind of just become the default thing I say whenever I don't know what to say for a recap for an episode. But alas, let's go on to our next door. It's a door that says Extreme Caution. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Doors are made to be walked through. It looks dangerous. We're not going to get anywhere if, you ch if you're chicken shit. Oh my god. Zach, I think we need to be more careful concerning what happened earlier. Nope. Quit taking all day. It's quicker just to go this way. Zach, I think you should look before you leap sometimes. Huh? Whoa, but why? It's Hey, it just all breaks once you land after jumping. It turns out it's just the same in the end, don't it? No, it doesn't. Plus, that's not what I meant to say meant when I said it. Oh my god. Door is locked. It's locked. Hey, open up! Let me guess we're going to get another call from our wonderful announcer. There's no response. Shit. It's that woman. She's probably spying on us right now. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so, Zach, how much do you know about this building? Oh, uh, yeah, I've been meaning to ask that earlier. Huh? Didn't you ask me the same thing before? <laughs> I did, but the people in this building. I was wondering how much you knew about them. That is a good question, actually. I mean, Zach has been around here for quite some time. Huh? The guy's here? All I know is that they're creepy as fuck. Really? I never really hung around on the other floors in the first place, except for moving between floors. Sure, they showed themselves to me in a blue moon, but they're all fucking crazy. Not the kind you want to have a chit-chat with. <laughs> okay. Crazy. So, did you get the urge to ki to kill them? Huh? Dot, dot, dot. N -n -n Never mind. I mean, he sure did, though, with the doctor. Okay, let's look elsewhere. Well, I guess by process of elevation, we gotta go for here. The door looks like the only way to go. I greatly fear our safety. <laughs> we all know that red... Not, not red. Black and yellow lines usually mean danger. There's no freaking point to worry about the bullshit now, is there? Um, okay. Hey, I'm talking to you! Zach, you should consider what I'm saying. What the hell is up with you? Okay, fine. I guess we gotta go in. I don't like any games where they give you the option to not go even though you kind of have to. I suspected as much. Shit. Well, it doesn't surprise me anymore that it'll be locked. Well, there are scratches on the marks left by on the wall. Wall's cave is caked with dirt, or caved with dirt. A machine that says gate access, but it looks like it takes some kind of card type key. A key is on the desk, acquired safe key. Box is slightly shut. It has no keyhole and appears to be some sort of lock mechanism. Oh hey, that chest is a default RPG Maker VX Ace sprite. That's kind of cool. Safe is locked. There are everyday items in here. Nothing else inside. The door is wrapped shut. This is a shabby mattress. Scratch marks continue to the top of the wall. Nothing is inside the wall. Or the, the box, not the wall. <laughs> I'm sure all that's, all, all that's in there is concrete. There's a single gas mask connected by a cord. The cord is too short to take with us. The safe is locked. Nothing is inside the box. Oh, wrong button. Let's try the safe key. This key was not meant for here. If it's not meant to here, then there's no point with messing around with it. Okay, um, here. Nope. Alright. A cluster of televisions is installed on the wall. Okay. Oh, writing on the wall. Or writing on the floor. Men with unsightly legs. The men who lay here are spineless, murderous fools who, tr who tread on life with their own feet. Rather than... Excuse me. Rather than agonizing for amidst one sense, simply abandon those legs. Though even that that proves futile. In the end, both of those feet are merely used by foolish sinners to aimlessly wander for all eternity. Okay. 
If you say so, game. The, but here, the safe is locked. The safe is unlocked. Excellent. The safe contains what appears to be a single remote control. Acquired remote control. A remote control? Remote control! Remote control, remote control? Yep. <laughs> anyway, what the hell? The safe is as big as me, and that's all that's what's in there? A big ass safe with nothing worse while inside. It's an oversized garbage from hell. Wow, Zach, you have nothing nice to say about anything. <laughs> well, I guess we might as well make use of our remote control. Pressing the remote control buttons in the middle of nowhere is pointless. Alright, under here. How's everyone doing? This is a video for all you sinners out there. Oh, great. Allow me to allow me to clue you in at what is going on. We're in Saw. The death trap in this room is designed as an extravagant twist. As a feature of an airtight interior to ensure no air leaks outside. Naturally, the room co comes complete with reinforcing glass windows. Go ahead and just try to break them. Pre-meeting the interior is something wonderful, indeed. This lovely feature will oh so gently coat the sinner's lungs in toxic death. Have you guessed it? That's right, the deluxe poison gas. Oh, shoot. Is that a fan over there? Oh yeah, that's a fan. Oh yes, and uh, that's not to say that there isn't a mean of escape, of course. Out of the mercy of my heart, I've prepared not two, but one shoddy gas mask that's so old it crumples away in your hands at any moment. Good luck escaping before your mask breaks, filling your poor lungs with toxic poison. Have fun, and be sure to breathe sparingly. Don't take this personally, run away convicts and luring sinners. Just be sure to go ahead and let the gas do its job if it fails to dazzle me, okay? Ah, I almost forgot. Should you bore me by taking too long to make your maker, keep in mind there's a time limit. Go over the time limit, and there's an extra special gift in store for you. Extra potent super deluxe poison gas! Oh, great. I didn't order this. Check the TV to keep tabs on the time limit, okay? Alright, in just a few seconds it will be unleashed the gas. I hope you have a fantastic time! Oh great, we got a time limit again. Hey, what's the plan? Her explanation is that there is a way to escape. It's a lie. I'll do everything in my power to find how to escape. At any rate, let's hurry on and put the gas mask. Okay, now this mini game. Let's see if I remember how to play it. Hey, I gotta put this on? Yeah, this cord makes it so it can't be moved from here. I'm suspecting they're probably not going to attempt to break it. Whoever's searching the room can't use it, so go ahead and use it for now. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so it's a switching back and forth mechanic. Gotcha. But well, what happens if you die? We'll find out. We'll find out? Cut the crap. If you die, I'll be stuck here. Figure it out. Okay, then. How's this? I'll take a look around for a bit, then come switch places with you. Fine, it's better than you dying on me. Okay... The monarchs are too high to see what's up there. They go. Okay, nothing's inside the box. As far as I know, there actually isn't a time limit here. There's something on the top shelf, but it's out of reach. Okay. As far as I'm aware, there's no like the time limit isn't actually there. Sisters, I wonder if there's anything we can cut. All that's left is the top of the shelf, but it's out of reach. All right, so let's switch. But anyway, as far as I'm aware, there's no actual like time limit. Hurry up! This mask is getting on my nerves. It's hard to talk and reeks of dust. So make a point not to talk with me, gotcha? Television shows an hourglass. Yeah, this hourglass is actually more of just a way of checking your progress than an actual form of time. Bars caked in the dirt. I can't get it off my hands. This is seriously stuff or dirt. Is there something I can remove the dirt? Gee, I wonder how. Nope. Not, not the scissors, the rag. Okay, never mind. I can't clean it. Something on the top shelf, but you can't reach it. Alright, safe and black. Pair of scales. 
Let's see, do I cut this open? I'm trying to cut the mattress with these scissors. Found a key in the mattress. Excellent. All right. Uh, safe. Wire was inside the safe. Acquired wire. What can I use this for? Oh. No, not the remote. Such a fine wire. Nothing inside. Okay, maybe I'll talk to Zach. Ah, what? You breathing that thing? For fuck's sake, can't you tell by looking at me? If I couldn't, then I wouldn't be here talking to you, duh! Alright. Let's see. Move it. Oh, I didn't even notice this or something. It's huffy and stuck to the floor. Too much for me to move on my own. Okay, uh... Go ahead. Damn, this mask reeks! It smells like shit when I talk! <laughs> Try not to throw up in the mask. Fuck off! What's the point of wearing this thing anyway? It filters the, the gas so you don't inhale the poison? Huh? The way you said it doesn't make it sense whatsoever. Never mind. Top shelf. Mark wires are too high to see where they go. Okay, we have wires. Wait a minute. If I combine it with the remote control, pressing the remote control no oil is pointless. the dirt yeah rag okay scissors uh wire remote control wait a minute wait if i try the wire on this thing Dude, I don't remember what to do! Okay, I can't use the wire. Uh, scissors? I'm not sure, actually. That mask turns the poison into gas in the clean air. So don't take it off. Oh, turns into clean air, huh? That's a uh, pretty handy. It sure is. What do I... I don't know what to do! Wait. It's very silly. Take a look at it. A message is written on the floor next to it where it resembles an index finger. Five? Looks like some sort of ex some extensive sequence. Left left down, right, down, right, down. I'm stuck anyway. <laughs> okay. Maybe if I asked him to take a search for a bit. Okay. Talk Hey, so if it means by inhaling the, the poison the whole time, you could say that. But hey, you could die if you're not careful. I can't have you go dine on me. Stop with the chit chat and get your ass a gear. I'm not fucking around with you anymore. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, you don't exist. Come back when you found something. <laughs> oh, thanks, Zach. Fine, time to trade places. Zach? Oh, what? I checked around, but there's no place of my reach, and somewhere that requires more force than I'm capable of. Oh, and? Hey, I... Hey, how can I know unless you tell me? Don't make me repeat myself! The poison gas is making me woozy. I want to trade places. Huh? Why didn't you just tell me that? 
Ferrari on crunch for time. If you die, then I'm never getting out of here. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so I just need to check out a place that you couldn't... Huh? Yep. Gotcha. Now stay there and breathe like there's no tomorrow. Okay, let's see. Ooh. There's something up there. Shit, I can't reach it. Fuck! Alright, uh... A red stained human-shaped object lies on the floor. Is this a corpse? Move it. Aw, oh, man, it's nothing! What's the damn leg came off? Hmm? No. It didn't come off, it was already severed. Ah, oh, well, guess I'll take this leg. It won't budge! If that's how it wants to play, then I'll smash it till it's open! Smash its face with an iron! She wants me to get what's on top of the shelf. Man, she can't reach it. She probably can't ride any roller coasters either. <laughs> that's hilarious. Bag of weights. Huh? All that's in here is a is a lump of iron. Every day, Iris. No, there ain't nothing in here. Oh, the thing on the top shelf. What's he talking about? Acquired a poker. Is a corpse? Move it. I moved it earlier, but it didn't do anything. Plus, it doesn't have a leg. It doesn't seem to do anything. Alright, let's see. Let's try the poker. Huh, what do I use this for? Oh, wait. Freaking gross. Let's see. Poke it. Okay, no. Uh, leg? Wire? Oh, what's this? What do I use it for? Alright, no. Aha, that's what I'm talking about! Why would this thing budge? All right, break, break, break. Okay, just got a button mash. Hurry up and break already. <laughs> Look, I told you, this is the quickest way to get shit done. What's inside? A cleaning brush was inside. Acquired brush. What the fuck? Oh, man, I feel like an idiot. All this was was a piece of shit brudge. Jeez. You know, I think Noir would like this game. She's, uh, got a pony mouth herself. I'm gonna heal. What's wrong with me? I, I feel sick. Am I stressed out? My body's totally fucked and nothing's making any sense. Guess I'll turn back. So I guess... No brush? No. Alright. Oh, time to switch places. Talk. Hey! Hey, answer me! What? Answer me when I talk to you. I can't tell if you're still alive just by looking at you. I'm alive. Ooh. Hey! I'm alive. Yep. What? Hey, what am I supposed to do? I want you to search for something heavy on the top of the shelves and other places. It's out of reach for me. I finished looking. I see. In case talk with me to switch places. <laughs> He's like, well, I would switch, but you gotta hit the command. Hey! What? I have no idea what I gotta do next. I see. Then switch places with me. Alright, I'm counting on you. I'll pass what I found. They're just useless objects to me, so find a way to use them. A poker, iron weight, brush, a leg? What the hell is a brush good for? Never mind the brush. Are you bitching me? What the hell do you want me to do? Spin gold from straw or something? <laughs> That's how Zack ended up here in the first place. I'll, uh, do what I can. Well, I know what the brush to, to do with the brush. Hello? The brush is now stained red. The stained free wall was was writing covered in it. Acknowledge thy sin and sever the part which had committed. Rested along the weight of the sin on the scale. Yet it should it be great of thy soul, thy desire shouldn't come to pass. I gotta match the sin of the weight on the scale. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I know. Alright, bag of weights. Looks pretty heavy. Okay, so... Alright, put the weights. Alright, and the leg. And I put the weights on the other. The box opened? Oh, that's a fancy little mechanism. An old battery powered lantern is inside. Acquired battery powered lantern. Ah, I guess the flashlight from the previous floor doesn't work. Looks like there's no batteries. Is there somewhere I can. Is there a way I can look for some? I can't think of anywhere else to look. You'll probably say you won't know until you tell me. Oh, I know, take the batteries out of the remote! But, Zach, I wonder if he'll give me some advice. 
Here, take it out of the remote. No? Alright, fine. Uh, ta. As far as I'm concerned, you don't exist. Okay. Consult. Zack? Huh? What is it? Did you find a way out? I want to know, how does he differentiate between me not existing and me needing to talk to you? Uh... Huh? Hurry up! Okay. Then what do you want? You want to switch places again? Uh, I got a question for you. What? Spit it out! I uh, don't really know where to look anymore. Do you have any idea of places that might turn up something? Oh? Me? Places that might turn up something? Yeah. If you can't find it, then what the hell do you makes you think I can't? Wait, I know a place! Haha, <laughs> Zach, you're not a complete fool. Where? High up on the wall, there's some kind of dugout space. Maybe if I prop up a box on the side... Even, but even if I propped up a box on the side, I, c I can't reach it. So, is there a way to make it? I see. We're screwed. Hey, Ray, follow me! But what about the mask? It hasn't worked for a while. It's probably busted, so we don't need it. Okay, never mind. No switching. Zack? There you go! Our... Okay, here we go! Huh? <laughs> Just tossed her right up there. Hmm? Oh, ho, ho. S sometimes a little toss is all you need. <laughs> hey, quit spacing around and go check it out. Okay. There's a hole. I might be able to pass through here, but it's dark. I'm pretty sure I had a, a battery-powered lantern, but no batteries. I wonder if I can make something with what I got. Oh. You take the batteries out of the remote control and put it in the lantern. There. <laughs> I already knew what I need to do. What a tight squeeze. You can keep going, but I'll face the other way when I go back. Keep going. Keep going. I forget which way to go. Uh, Left, I think? There's a hole. There's something deep inside, but it's out of reach. Didn't I have a polka? Alright, this'll do. <laughs> Sorry, we're playing blackjack tonight. I caught something, but I can't pull it out. Is there a certain way if I can move it? Maybe the hole is the key itself. Which way should I turn? Oh, shit. Ah, crap. Okay, it was right. Start over. Okay, so it was left. Down. Right. Down. Right. Up. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Left. Down. Right. Down. Right. Down. There we go. That's what the imprint with the blood five thing said. Got it! A key card emerged from the hole. Acquired a key card. If I put it into the machine at the exit, then I'm sure I gotta hurry back. I'm not sure what's on the left side, actually. I'll have to look at that later on. Alright, all we gotta do is put in the machine by the exit, right? Yeah, I think so. Huh. i do these later on when I'm not so tired. Okay then, now let's do this. Okay. Hey, what's wrong? My vision is getting blurry. Huh? Shit, the poison's in your system. Give me the card, I'll just put it in, right? Yes, if you would. Hey, move it! Follow me! Zach, just... Can you read me a bedtime story? Uh, how far are we? Oh, yep. Yeah, we're almost dead. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go. I should just pop this in here, right? Yeah. Huh? It won't go in! Ha! Ah, why won't it go in? Oh, no, Zach, don't... Don't! Don't force it! The card's fucking bent. Oh my god. Well, we're screwed! Thanks, Zach! <laughs> Get out of town! To think that yourself would cause the game to end! Silly Zach, you entered it the wrong way! I'm laughing so hard I could die! Please do die! How about a little help around here? We've come this far, so do us a solid! Open it! I certainly haven't exacted though your punishment yet. Sinners have to follow the rules, right? 
So it looks like you'll be getting a compulsory game over! Or a complimentary game over. I'm afraid there's no other choice but to shower you with even more pointed poison gas. Did you even know the poison gas cost you a pretty penny? You spoiled sinners! You ho ho ho! Toodles, have fun writhing and withering in agony. Oh my god. Of course you gotta make it just even more insulting. Well, we're screwed. Thanks, Zach. You bitch! Zach? What? You won't keep the promise we've made unless we get out of here, right? Uh, can we talk about this later? Answer me. That's right. The minimum requirements is me getting out of here alive. So what? Okay. I'll do everything I can then. But I'm not sure if it all works. Is that okay with you? We're as good as dead anyway, so do what you can. This gas might be flammable. I might be able to create an explosion if I stagger and ignite the gas. I need batteries. I'll take the batteries out from the lantern. Next, by connecting the batteries, I can attach this to spot to the conduct seat. The rag. No, that's not it. Alright, uh. Um. Cards. Uh. Brush. Scissors. Poker? And bag. Remote control? Wire, there we go. Then I'll coil the object but to ignite it to the heat with the wire. Remote control. Rag. Zach, put this at the room's exit. Be careful not to break it. Like this, excuse me. Like this? Yeah. If it catches fire, then it'll probably explode. What the, what do you mean? I don't fancy blowing up. That's why we need to find a place to take cover. Good luck, find a place like that here. I know of one, it's a bit of a tight squeeze though. Even a big husky build like guy should probably fit in it. <laughs> big and husky. Hey, I'm not fat! Square me the details, we just need to fit in there, right? Okay. Take the gas- okay, the gas is very helpful. I gotta say, I really did- I really do like the mechanic they came up with this one. Kaboom! Well, I gotta say, at least this is better than the, uh, fridge scene from Indiana Jones. Shit! It's hot! 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 hot. Oh my god, if Josh was here, though, I know exactly what he would be saying. <laughs> Why? Is it hot because of me? He, that's what he would probably say. I'm getting out! I don't leave me in here, Zach. <gasps> you freaking serious? Uh, hey, good to see you're alive. If the exit's open now, then let's get the hell out of here. Then what the freaking point was the scissors? Did we even? Oh, okay, yeah, we used it for the mattress. Never mind. <laughs> we finally made it out of that shitty room. <laughs> I'd be surprised if that bitch ever had any idea that that would ever happen. <laughs> hey, hang in there. Okay. Did I do a good? Fuck, girl, you blew the entire place to Kingdom Come, you know? You sure showed her you did a great! Uh, I see. Okay. I need to lay down. Hey, we made it this far, so don't go dying on me now. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. What do you say? That look on your face says otherwise. I'm fine, don't worry about me. This, this is just my default expression. Uh, uh, I feel light. <laughs> okay, now. Alright. Alright, let's get moving. I can't have you dying on me. We gotta keep it going. I know, I'm fine. I can walk. Oh my god! She's been converted to a party member! Oh, what? I did not mean to save here. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll continue onwards. Uh, we still got a little extra time, so we might as well. I'm surprised you see to get out of that predicament. Incredible! I hate to admit it, but you deserve props. As a bonus, I'll open up the door! Hee hee hee. 
Yeah, help out as... No, no, no. As a bonus, you get us out of here. And I'm not talking just the floor, I'm talking the whole building, because that was pretty clever. That was the deal from the start, duh! <laughs> Stupid belittling bitch. Okay, I think we're coming up to a cutscene, so I think we'll end after this. Hey! Uh, there's no telling what's beyond here, so try to stay close. That's the way I can. Zach? Can you give me a lift? Can you not walk any faster? Hey! I'm fine. I need a lift, Zach. Zach? A piggyback? Zach! Oh man, we're never gonna get anywhere at this pace. Keep going. I like to, if possible, but then I'd just be stuck somewhere if I went by myself. Oh hey. <laughs> well hey, at least it's nice even though he acknowledges our the help we're giving him. That's okay. <laughs> sure, you won't pass out and die on me. Um I'll do my best. What do you mean you'll do your best? If you won't die, that won't mean shit. Sure, death is your wish and all, but what about mine? It won't be great if you kick the bucket. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we get it, Zack. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, then I need to do even better from now on. Man, you're bright. Though you always just seem to repeat yourself like some sort of pull string doll. <laughs> I love that expression, by the way. <laughs> what should we do? Just shut up while you're ahead. You're human, right? Think for yourself. Dot 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 You can wait a bit. The dizziness should go away. Hey! The camera can't see us here. I'll wait here, so so hurry up. Okay. Man, she looks like a ghost, white, and even more like a doll when she sleeps. It's nice that she does what I tell her to, but she's always answering with, yeah, or yes. Is she a robot? How dull! I'm just wondering how I'm getting so bent out of shape over all of this. <laughs> I think even he's acknowledging he's getting a little too petty. Ah, could it be the poison from earlier being my system too? Well, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, you're a tough guy, you're a slasher villain. I mean, really, it's kind of abundantly clear. Like, if, if this was any other story, Zack would be the... <laughs> he would be the villain. There's no use thinking about all the pointless shit like this is. I'll take it easy for a bit. I'm sure you guys could use a nap. Maybe some food. Or, you know, just a bathroom break. Hey, you know that kid that we got over there for a month? I've been smelling something foul, so I went in to check it out, and he's dead as a doorknob! Oh, is that right? Eh, so what do we do about it? Hmm. Bury it in the yard. Again? You sure about that? Nobody's gonna come over looking for a kid they dumped off for chicken feet. But I can't stand it! Touching something de de decomposed is gross! Listen to how selfish you sound. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Is it that other kid still alive? That kid, the one that looks like a disfigured monster with with, with burnts? Freddy Krueger? Oh, him? Yep, still alive and kicking. Nobody's been feeding him either. Must be some sort of forage for scraps or something. The whole thing makes my skin crawl, to be frank. Hey, we should just let the we should just let him bury the dead kid. Let the other one take care of the other. That's an option. Wow, these guys are... These guys are animals! I tried it out before. He just silently buried the body. Oh, uh, really? It's perfect, right? The less scraps that are left, the less garbage that stinks. Plus, we're short-handed. Who thought we would be keeping a monster alive would be so handy? Wow, these... These guys are despicable. 
It's like a tool of sorts. A role befitting of a monster, as it were. Wow. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys, seriously. Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, consider our problem solved. It's movie time for me, and I don't give a hell for it in this time. Gross. It's that splatter horror fuck that you're obsessed with, right? I'm in love with that movie. That scene with the upbeat morons get slaughtered always gives me a kick. You're sick, you know that. I can't stand that movie. The killer doesn't even die at the end. Seriously, can you please not watch that? Didn't you leave the house while it playing the other day? I'm gonna watch it whether you like it or not. Now go take care of that corpse! God, these people are just... These people are horrible! Zack? Zack? Huh? Yep. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Zack? Dot dot dot. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel quite refreshed, actually. In that case, let's get a move on. Because of you, I saw something sickening. Okay. Well. <laughs> that was a ordeal and a half. Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits for this episode. So, uh. Hopefully I don't forget it. Yeah, I should be able to look at the time codes. Okay, this should work. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this episode. Um, I gotta say, though, we've been moving along at a quite steady pace, though. I'm really enjoying that gas mask minigame we had, though. It's a nice little way, though, of cooperation. Definitely showing the characters' strengths and weaknesses. And showing, though, that they wouldn't be able to continue without each other. I gotta say, this, this episode kind of shows me, though, why I love these guys as a duo. They're probably some of my favorite duos in RPG Maker history, even more so than Eve Gary and Yonaka and Defect Mogeko. But, alas. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this episode. If you, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or just want to tell me something, be sure to let me know in the comments below or send me a message. And as always, have a good day.